Here we have this parametric equation, and we want to change this into Cartesian equation. Namely, we are going to somehow get rid of the parameter theta here. Our answer at the end should be an equation with just x and y. So that's the Cartesian equation. And I like to call that the rectangular equation as well, because x and y only. So this is what we can do. Usually, the strategy is solve for theta from x and then plug that in into the other equation for the y. But in this case, x equals to sine of 1 half theta, and y is equal to cosine of 1 half theta. The important thing here is 1 half theta, 1 half theta are the same, and this is what we can do. Let me write this down for you guys. x equals to sine of 1 half theta, and we are going to take this equation and let's square both sides. So I'm going to look at this, square that, I'm going to look at that, square that. And I will do the same with the y equation. You will see, let me put down the original, y equals to cosine of 1 half theta. And then I will square this equation on both sides. And this is what we're going to get. On the first one, we have x squared. And this is equal to, I have sine, let's put a square right here, sine squared 1 half theta. And then the second equation, we have y squared equals to cosine squared 1 half theta, right? So this is what we have now, and the good thing is that the angles inside are the same for this one and that one, and I'm going to add these two equations together. And you will see, when we do that, we have on the left-hand side, x squared plus y squared. And this is equal to, what's sine squared plus cosine squared? As long as the angle insides are the same, sine squared plus cosine squared is going to give you 1. So at the end, the right-hand side is just equal to 1. So as you can see, all in all, we just have x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And as you know, this is going to be an equation of a circle. So this right here is it. I just want to show you how we can get um, this into Cartesian form. That's it.